So we're all done now. Both songs have successfully uploaded to the cloud. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize the Amazon MP3 uploader. And you'll know you're on there because it'll say it in the upper right corner. Uh, let's just go ahead and minimize this. And we're going to go back to the internet. And so all you have to do is uh, hit refresh. Or if you hit F5 on your keyboard, it's going to refresh the uh, screen. And then you're going to see our, our new songs will be added to the list. And there they are. Now we have uh, Have You Ever, Brandy, and I Got a Feeling, which is the Black Eyed Peas song. So now we can see that they're in the cloud. And we're going to go ahead and switch to the Kindle now so we can see um, how to get the Kindle to refresh so we can see those songs on there. So now we're at the Kindle here. And let's go ahead and open this up. So this is our current uh, music player, and so as you can see, it hasn't refreshed and up and add the new songs yet. So what you want to do is you want to well, this is first thing first. At the top here, you're gonna see cloud and you're gonna see device. Make sure you're on cloud because on the device, there's different songs. Okay, remember the cloud is the music that's being accessed from Amazon server. So oh, that fast it updated. Um, usually you have to hit a button and I'll show you that anyway, but, um, device is music that is saved actually on the Kindle and the cloud is basically accessing Amazon site through Wi-Fi. So just make sure you know that difference because some of you might be on one and wonder why you don't see it. So our songs have been added. So we have Brandy here and I got a feeling normally what you have to do is, uh, if you come down to the menu right here and tap on the menu, click on settings. And there's an option right here that says reflect, refresh cloud player. And it tells you that um, normally it refreshes every 10 minutes. It looks for new content. But um, if you tap here, it'll update immediately. Okay. So usually you have to tap there and then go home. And then you're going to go back to music. And then usually it has it'll have updated already. And so now I can play it. Get a little brandy going here. And so right now it's playing it right through the cloud. Let's pause that. Now, the last thing I want to show you, so just, you know, clap, clap, clap. We successfully moved music to the cloud, and now we see it on our Kindle. Um, so, remember this is still in the cloud. So if I'm not connected to Wi-Fi, I can't access any of this music. It's only when I'm in Wi-Fi. So if you've moved the song to the cloud and you want to move it onto the Kindle to be saved on here, let me show you how to do that. So let's say I want to take um, this song right here by my boy Bars. I'm going to do it better. I'm going to hold down on the song. And then a menu pops up. And then it says download song, add song to now. You want to come down to where it says, um, download song basically. <laughs> Sorry, a little pause there. Click download song. And what it's going to do, it's actually going to download it onto the Kindle device. That's what that means. So click up in notifications. You can see that it's downloading the song right now. And it should be done in a few seconds. And then, wh wham, the song will actually be saved on the Kindle. So as soon as you're not in Wi-Fi anymore, clear that, close that, now the song is on my device. So this was um, upload music from your um, computer to the Amazon Cloud and uh, how you save it onto the Kindle. So hope that was helpful and uh, have a good one.